Hi, it's Lisa DeStudo, your realtor in Ocean City, and today I'm like looking at all my beach tags, and this is what the video is about. It's basically sharing to you what's going on in 2024. Are the rates going to go up for the beach tags? They did go up substantially the year before, and I'm going to basically explain to you where the money is going, what they do with the money, and uh, basically why Ocean City charges Ocean City is really not the most expensive beach in terms of beach tag cost, and they're not free either. And I'm going to cover the beaches that are free in case you want to go there as well. But you know what? I'm just reminiscing here because I knew I was going to be doing this video, and I wanted to share it with all you guys. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of all the different designs. They purposely do these designs so that um, every year it's different, and it's easy for the uh, high schoolers who walk the beaches to be able to check they know what to be looking for this is actually one of my favorites and uh oh here's another one this one is one of the lifeguard chairs they're just so cute and every year they come up with a different design and here's another one so yeah i put all my beach tags on here it makes it just so much easier number one i'm collecting them all as you can see and number two when they come by and they ask for the tags i just can hold this up and say see i'm good good to go so let's get started i want to get into all the reasons why we do it and hopefully give you a better understanding and also be prepared for 2024 i'm going to tell you how to get a discount on these tags and so forth so stay tuned make sure you subscribe and like this because i have a lot more coming your way if you've just set your sights on your summer home in Ocean City, congratulations. You are in for the season of sun, sand, and a little scoop. You see, beach tags have been a part of our beach culture since 1976, a small key to unlocking endless summer memories from Memorial Day to Labor Day. So what does it really cost to sit on this pristine sand in 2024? I'm going to share the story behind the tags that keep our beaches clean and our swimmers safe and our summers unforgettable. Now, we all know when we go to the gas pump, our gas prices for our cars have been going up. Food on our table has been going up and these prices are just in an upward climb. And yes, the cost of soaking up the sun on the Jersey Shore is not immune to that. Last year, Ocean City's City Council made a pivoting decision making the first beach tag price increase since 2011. However, the residents here in Ocean City have embraced this change with open arms as long as it meant their property taxes wouldn't soar. You know, it's all about keeping our beaches beautiful and safe, right? I think it's a small price to pay. Ocean City is special to me and if this helps maintain that, I'm all in. Beach tag revenue covers essential services like lifeguarding, beach cleaning, and even the city shares in beach replenishment projects. In fact, last summer alone, the sales from these tags amounted to a staggering $6,089,000. Every cent is reinvested into protecting and enhancing our beaches. From funding to lifeguards and beach cleaning operations to ensuring the accessibility of our sands for everyone to use and reap the benefits of. So now you might be wondering how much do I need to set aside for this? Well, for the summer of 2024, the early bird catches the worm, or should I say the early tags. Purchase your seasonal tags by May 31st and you will save $5. So it will cost you 30. After that, the prices generally wave up to $35. And remember, beach tags are required for everyone 12 years of age and up from June 1st through September 2nd of 2024. And there's a variety of options to suit you if you're staying here, like seasonal tags, weekly tags, and we even have military tags. The military tags are free for our servicemen and women. So you're looking for a breeze of freedom with no beach tags required. I've got you covered. Atlantic City, Strathmere, Wildwood, and Summers Point welcome you with open arms and free sand. Now, if you're curious about other beaches and what they're charging, Sea Isle City offers daily tags of $10, weekly ones of $15, and a seasonal pass for $25. If you purchase by May 15th, bumping it up to $30 after May 15th. Now, Margate and Ventnor have streamlined their approach with 
all their badges set at a flat rate, flat rate of $20. And for those venturing to Stone Harbor, Avalon, and Cape May, your seasonal tags will be $40. So whether you're planning to mail order or order online before the season begins, know that every tag is a badge of honor, a contribution to preserving the beauty of our safety of our beaches like Ocean City beaches. And for those seeking sand without the tags, nearby shores offer their own unique experience. So there's options for everybody. So from the heart of Ocean City to whatever your summer adventures may lead, remember it's not just about the cost to sit on the sand. It's about being a part of a community that cares deeply for its coastal treasures. You just want to have great memories to last you forever. So here's to a summer of stories, smiles, and the spirit of Ocean City. See you on the beach. Thank you for joining me on the Sandy Journey. For more tales and truths from the shore, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Share the sunshine. Until next time, keep your flip-flops ready and your heart open.